So I put down the ceramic floor myself. It's very easy, okay? You want to listen to all the experts, they're going to drive you crazy. The experts tell you you have to rip up the, the old existing floor, and you have to put down plywood, and you have to do all this stuff. I put this floor right over linoleum, okay? This, this floor in the kitchen had linoleum. I went to the middle of the floor, and I started installing tile. And right now, I came into the corner, I just finished up, okay? Now, what I did was, I, I put ceramic tile, regular ceramic tile, got a couple extra pieces here. I put it right over the existing linoleum, okay? I kept myself measured correctly and all that stuff. We're not gonna talk about that now in this video, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to save money. Save money by forget about the plywood, forget about the subfloor. Ceramics are very strong tile. I went right over the existing floor, less work, less heartache, less problems. Okay? That, you know, the, the, uh, the t I put all my money in the tile. I spent a lot of money in the tile. I would spend your money in the tile. Don't worry about the adhesive and the grout and all that stuff, okay? Because that, that, that's not going to matter too much. In this case, I used um, regular, I used actually spackle. I used stuff that I have around the house. Okay, I use spackle, I spackle the back of each tile, you put spackle right on the back of each tile, and you put them down, and the spackle will harden up and it will dry for you. Uh, in the beginning, I was using some, some glue that I uh, used for paper, it was from the office. Uh, I ran out of it, I had mixed that up, and uh, th that was actually, uh, when you use glue, it actually uh, you get a little lightheaded. Probably should open up the windows when you're working with glue. Uh, I was feeling pretty good in the beginning, man, you know, I started plastering some music and stuff. Uh, but anyway, I, I uh, ran out of the glue and I went to, I started using regular spackle I had in the garage. You know, this stuff dries up. And then, uh, you know, in certain areas I had to use a stapler, regular office stapler. In the corners under the cabinets here, I stapled certain areas that were coming up. And I even used a little bit of uh, regular tape. Everybody has tape in their office. I used tape around the lines over here too, uh, that weren't coming down too good. I actually had to use tape over here, I don't know if you can see it. I put some tape over here because it wasn't sitting straight. But uh, regular tape, don't go crazy with the adhesive, man. And everybody's talking about, oh, you need to get this really good. I went to a couple of stores around here, and they're trying to talk me into ripping up the floor and putting down a subfloor and getting the best glue and all that crap. Um, I, I just did it my way, and it's going to last forever because the tile, this is just a solid, solid tile. Now, as far as the grout, the grout, I put that right in as I put the tiles in. You know what the grout was is if you dig deep in your yard and get past the dirty dirt dirt, and get down to like the clay area, okay? If you dig deep enough, you get the clay. I took that clay and I put it in a bucket. And I mixed it up with some spackle and some paint, okay? We have extra paint in the basement from when we painted the uh, upstairs. I mixed it with paint, I stirred it up. Grout, all grout is, is like sand, man, you know? So I figured between the spackle and the paint, when it dries, it will harden. So it's starting to harden now. You know, as long as you put everything in the right way, you can always substitute when you're doing home improvements. Okay, so that's my tip. I save a lot of money by uh, by doing it my way. So do it your way, man. You know, you'll know you'll know the right way.